Today on Fire and Strategy, my goal is to help all the people with business ideas and they don't know what to do next. People have business ideas, they say, then where do I start? How do I get go about starting your business and all kind of stuff? And also because I know that business ideas, when they're in your head, they can be frustrating and overwhelming and sometimes can be can lead to hallucination. You're thinking you have the gold in your head and all kind of stuff. And at times you have this business idea in your mind and it just stays there. It remains an idea. So here, in essence, I'm just trying to help you do the first thing, the right thing, the first right thing, the moment you have a business idea, which is to write it down. The business, the first business of the day is to write your business idea down. When you have a business idea, write it down. The reason why it's important to write your business down because you can be able to make sense of that idea, to make this businesses, to make it the idea that you have, is it really something that it is worth investing in or not? You know, because your business idea, if it remains in your head, it will haunt you and haunt you and haunt you. And sometimes you'll hold on to it thinking you have the, the multi-billion rent company, the Uber or the sneakers or whatever it is that you think you have in your head until you put it down and work it out. So I'm trying to help you make sense of your business idea so that you can know if it really makes business sense and also to guide you on how to go about executing that business idea. So right now, the goal is to help you write down your business idea in only three steps. The first step is to work out the business model. The business model, in essence, is a logical illustration of how you will create value, deliver value, and capture value. Pretty much, it just, in essence, means that how are you going to create value with this business idea? How is this idea going to create value for people? And how are you going to sell this value to them? And in the process, how are you going to make money? So under when as you work out, this is what you do, what, the, what you focus on as you work out the business model for your idea. Number one, this is the question. I'm just going to give you questions and you will answer them. That's how you write it down. Number one, how will you create value? Name the problem and solution you have identified. Number two, who will benefit from and buy your solution? For example, is it small businesses, industrial companies, NGOs, school kids, etc.? So who will benefit from and buy your solution? Number three, how will you sell to them? That solution that you have, how are you going to sell it to them? Are you going to sell it online, face to face, through brokers, etc.? Number four, how will you make money? Here, I need you to name your revenue generating activities, what you will be selling and prices of your product or services. Number five, what is the cost of providing your sol a solution? Right, you know how you will create value, you know the solution you'll be providing, who will be buying and how you will sell and how you'll be making money. But now, how much will it cost you to provide? What is that? That is what is that it will cost you to provide the solution that you have. So now I need you to name the resources that are really important to launch your business. Not the luxuries that you can do without at the moment. For example, if, if your idea is of launching a cleaning company, prioritize getting a company profile or website over getting an office. You get me? So here is only about the key resources that you really need them like you cannot start without them like the if they are key they're detrimental to the success of your business and then after naming those resources now it's important to work out your salient prices with good markups now that's the first stage of writing your business idea first thing you work out your business model how will you create value? Who will benefit from and buy a solution? How will you sell to those people? How will you ma be making money? And what will be the cost of providing your solution? Step number two. Now, package your customer value proposition to get ready to sell. Here, it's about articulating your business idea in a company profile style. Well, let me just define what a company profile is. A company profile is more than just generic mission and vision statements and colored patient 
pages. It is about using content to sell your company story. Have you ever heard the saying, people buy why you do something and not what you do? Well, that's it. You've heard it now. If you haven't before, your potential customers want to know what you are about, what you can do for them, how you work, and why they should choose you over other companies. So, to get a sale, you need to have that well articulated and ready for the perusal of your potential clients. A basic way to do it started this way. Point number one, who we are and what we do. That's an about us on the company profile. For example, we are a full service contract cleaning company serving industrial, commercial and corporate clients within the city of Johannesburg. Note this, in that short sentence, you have highlighted your identity, you are a contract cleaning company, your service scope, which is full service, and who you serve, industrial, commercial, and corporate entities, meaning you are in business to business market, and you are targeting business, businesses within a specific part of Houten. Now that you have outlined who you are and what you do, outline your business scope. Here you focus on the customer segments. The first thing is the customer segments. Now write in detail who your targeted clients are and why are the be they the best fit, why they need you. Mind you, the profile is written for your customers, not you. So when they read it, they try to make a purchasing decision to go for you or not to go for you. And you must highlight the problems and how you will solve them. So list your portfolio of services and products that you are offering. Secondly, your operating model, describe your workflow. Your potential clients want to know how you work and offer your services. What is the process of getting your service or product? Now, next you have to include why you should choose us. You need to list the reasons why they should buy the product from you and use your, or use your service. What makes you the best choice? Why should they come to you and not your competitor? And then now, the last part is to include the compliance information. Here you list the reasons why, excuse me, with the compliance information, here you will know the formalities required as far as trading is concerned. Things like registering your, your company with CIPC, um, getting tax clearance, retrieving a BE certificate, which you can get when registering your company, um, getting a business bank account, and other compliances depend on the line of business that you're in. For example, those in construction will need to register with CIBD and NRBHC, those in security services with CIRA and etc. So, just to repeat this part about um, packaging your customer value proposition, we are doing this thing using the company profile um, style. So in essence, what I was help guiding you on here is on how to compile your company profile for that idea that you have. So you have the who we are and what we do. And then you have the business scope. Under the business scope, you have customer segment and as well as the portfolio of services and products and then you also have operating model and then you have the why you should choose ours and then lastly you have the compliance information so that was the step two of writing down your business idea the third stage is about working out how you will sell and get your first client Understand your customer and the standard sales process of your business. This is very important. It is important to understand your targeted customer and how you can easily reach them. For example, if you are aiming to get a contract to be a cleaning service provider at an office park or shopping center, a social media post or an A4 poster on a street light pole to advertise your services may not be as effective. Having a search engine optimized website, contacting the maintenance director at that particular office park or complex manager may be the most effective way to go about it. Additionally, you need to understand that you don't just walk in or call to be a service provider. You must do your homework. Do your homework regarding the procurement procedures and requirements. For example, you cannot get a contract from government if you're not listed on the central supplier database. Some companies require that you register your company as a potential vendor to be considered. And all these potential clients will require a company profile. That's why I was guiding you on how to compile a company profile for your business or rather your idea on stage step two.
of this process. So get ready with it. After getting those basics out of the way, you can start knocking on doors, prepared. Now you should be in a position to articulate and make sense of your business idea and to decide on your next steps to launch.